Tomorrow, Governor DeSantis will be sworn into his second term at the state capitol. The governor has overwhelming support in state government as he gets ready to take on 2023 and beyond. News for Jack's anchor and political reporter Kent Justice is joining us live from Tallahassee with a preview of what's going to happen before tomorrow's ceremony. Kent. Yeah, Tom, behind me is the uh, old Capitol here. And I'll tell you what, the state Capitol Day, all the offices of the state closed because they're observing New Year's Day as the holiday. That means it's far quieter than a typical Monday. And we expect a radical change once we get to what happens tomorrow because the cabinet members are going to swear in on the steps of the old Capitol behind me. Earlier today, we caught some of the preparations that were going on out here. A run through taking place ceremony tomorrow. That's going to be a midday break from other duties that the state lawmakers have. So I spoke with both Speaker of the House Paul Renner and State Representative Angie Nixon today. Nixon and says she's going to hold Republicans accountable. Renner excited to start his new role in the House, and he's a firm supporter of the governor. Renner says he has the governor's back. Well, closely aligned. You know, affordability. People are worried about affordability, and we, we tackled property insurance. It'll take a couple years for that bill to kind of work its way through, so it won't come immediately, but that helps bring down people's, you know, insurance over time is important. We know that we have a governor who's very ambitious and wants to run for president, so he's going to be pandering to a base in which he's going to continue to to divide us via culture wars and really attack members of the LGBTQ community, as well as our public school system, which is just so upsetting. Now, Nixon is one of two members of the House who are Democrats from our area. The other eight are all Republicans. So a super majority in the House and the Senate means that Governor DeSantis will probably have an easier time of trying to get his priorities through the state legislature. Live in Tallahassee, Kent Justice, Channel 4, the local station. Kent, the swearing in of the governor, of course, is always the headline item. That's always what's in the spotlight. But there also will be the swearing in of the new agriculture commissioner tomorrow. Yeah, today we saw Nikki Freed, current agriculture commissioner for a few more moments, essentially, uh, put out a, a post that, hey, this is my final day. And why that's significant is because she's been the only statewide elected Democrat in the cabinet for the past four years. Uh, as she moves on, it kind of breaks the strings and puts back all four members of the Florida cabinet now will be Republicans. Wilton Simpson, uh, he becomes the new agriculture commissioner. Jimmy Petronas, a Republican, is the CFO. Ashley Moody, the attorney general also Republican. And so as Wilton Simpson comes in, he's coming right out of a two-year stint as the Senate president. Again, lots of things align for a Republican governor to try and make his agenda stick. Tom? Kent Justice reporting to us live from Tallahassee. Thank you, Kent. And Kent will have more live coverage tonight on the local station and all day tomorrow. The swearing-in ceremony begins tomorrow morning at 11 with the governor taking the oath around noon. We will be streaming our coverage live on News4Jax.com and News4Jax+. We will also have a full report on News4Jax at noon.